Today we're going to talk about the empowerment process, which is the process we go through on our empowerment retreat. Because we're living in a time of turmoil and change, and some people are really taking that and using it to their advantage and taking use of the opportunities that arise, and other people are being swamped by the process. And I think the difference between those two people is a matter of the knowledge and tools and also the support. So we're going to go through uh, a seven-step empowerment process, which I believe is core to changing from a life where you're not feeling passionate to one which you love and are motivated to do. So what are the keys to empowerment? Okay, well, first of all, I believe that it starts off with knowing our values. Some people just have a calling. They know that they want to work with animals. Other people feel that they are passionate about the IT space and innovation, creating new inventions. Uh, there are others like me that just love uh, psychology and the mind and meditation and helping people. But whatever it is that you're passionate about, you need to find that in order to start living towards those values. Now, some people don't know what they are, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. You can get support in helping you discover what your values are. Now, the second thing is to get rid of those areas of your life which you are not living or up to your values. So if you're working in an area which is not in alignment with your values, then you know make plans to move out of that area. And then the next step, of course, is to set some goals to move towards that area of your values. So move towards a vocation, move towards people, move towards skills which are in alignment with your values, where you're going to get that motivation. So all of those things are important. Now, the next thing though is we all have fears uh, and negative emotions that hold us back. A lot of us kind of have an inkling of what we want to do, but we're scared to make that move or we have limiting decisions. We believe we can't do it. So this is where some internal work needs to be done to get over those blockages, those areas in life where we're stuck in order for us to make those positive moves. In an ecological manner, of course, you don't want to just quit your job uh, for no reason and be thrown out there with no money. It needs to be a step-by-step -step planned process, but you need to start taking action and fears hold us back. And then to all of this is underpinned, and this is where the ancient traditions come in, is to know your own mind. And that's where I think that meditation and things like that are a, in, just an inevitable and a, a really important part of this whole process. So we teach you this thing called mindfulness, which is the buzzword in psychology these days, but has been known since you know the time of the Buddha. And it's that practice of meditation by becoming mind, be, mindful because if you watch your mind you learn how it works you get to know what are the fears what are the old patterns that you need to break and uh, what are the values that you want to live towards then the second to last step is to get support we no man is an island and i have had so many people help me on my journey and without them i would be nowhere so it's important for you to to find that support, whether it's a peer group, whether it's a mastermind group, whether it's a coach or a mentor, is to find where you're going to get that support from. And that's one of the things, of course, that we hope to offer. And then finally, there always will be new skills, uh, self-development that you need to learn, better communication skills, uh, skills on how to run a new business as well. So those are the seven points which I believe are critical to changing to become empowered and to leading a life that you live. Now, I hope to see you on one of our retreats. It would be great. Um, but until that time, all the best. And I hope you enjoyed this video.